I think um, we just stayed at it, you know. I, we were at, I certainly didn't expect that margin. I don't think it was a reflective of the game per se. I don't think it was. But just stayed, stayed at it. Just kept doing. <clears throat> we weren't perfect by any means, but we just kept doing what we were doing. Kept, kept playing quite consistent over the, the match in how we played and, like I said, just stayed at it and tried to keep pushing um, Argentina into the odd mistake here or there, and that's what happened. Oh, all tries are, in, are crucial. You know, like, I, I wasn't... I, I had to look twice to see who was running down the sideline, there's no doubt about it. I was a bit unsure. Uh, I didn't realise he had that pace. I hadn't seen him open up like that. But, you know, it, opportunity. He's been given an opportunity to play a bit out, a bit out of the blue, I suppose, and, and uh, he took it. He did some other things apart from that that were quite handy as well, so that was good. Well, I think I just wanted um, Beal to play a little bit later in the game. We were planning on bringing him on just before Quaid went to the Symbian. He was going to go on for Quaid, so that, that's what delayed his entry into the field, Beal. So I just I like the way the two playmakers, like the Matt Tanua and um, Cooper and, and Foley have been working together and, and playmaking and Beal as well and uh, we just thought that was a just away from home a bit of a you know we had to have two kicking options and just kept us a bit more level I think at that point in the game and then you saw it with Beal with a small amount of time in the game he had a very good injection into the game. Yeah not too bad it was a good contest I mean they're a, they're a really strong scrum it was pretty scrappy in that first half but sort of settled down a little bit in the second half and um, you know our line out was pretty solid. We we got some pay out of our mall at the back end of the game, which was pleasing. Uh, so you know that's a th those last 15 minutes are key, and um, the guys that have come on have done a great job for us here. Yeah, they were fantastic. You know, we watched that game during today in our hotel, and you know, they showed why they're the best team in the world at the moment. So that's a huge challenge for us, uh, and a good opportunity for us. So um, you know we just want to make small improvements in how we're going with. This group's only been together now for a, for a short time and um, there's plenty to work on, so uh, that game's going to be, be a big test for us and we've got two weeks to, to continue to work hard as a group and uh, we'll land there in Sydney and uh, have a crack. Yeah, I thought he was excellent. You know, he, um, <clears throat> he, had to, he took a few opportunities on the ball, which obviously he's very noted for, but uh, he made some great runs. He made a run down the right-hand side again, you know, with, uh, He's improved his carry ball carrying this year immensely and and then I really like the way him and Hooper are working together when, when they come on. They they just because they're working together and they understand the roles they have to play and share and I just uh, we haven't achieved anything yet as a group, we know that. We've got to keep working hard, um, just keep chipping away at, at improving on, on our game and um, you know getting our game better all the time and we'll do that at training. The guys will have a couple of days off now just at home but then we'll We'll hook into it uh, later in the week and uh, get ready for, for a big week in Sydney.